We talked about death when Mr. Hooper died, which was one of the high points, I think, of the show's career and one of the times where I felt most proud to be associated. That was just, Mr. Hooper died, Will Lee, and uh, Dulcie Singer thought, why shortchange the kids now? Why not? Death is part of life. It's nothing, it's not, a, it just is. There's no opinion about it. It just is. Why should we not uh, illustrate it, explain it? Because she got a lot of, of uh, negative reaction from her superiors at the time said, no, no, this is, oh, let's not do this. It's not like something like divorce, which is a man-made entity. Death is death. <laughs> so she, she prevailed and got the research department. The way it happens is that they get the research department to, to, to pull together all the information that's out there for kids about death. And then they look at everything that's out there about death and you get experts in, child psychologists in, to, talk, to tell us what it is that kids think about death and what worries them about death. And we get all that information and sit with all the writers and then you come down, come out with like five points that you want, we want to say on the show. And one of the things was kids always worry about who is going to do for them what this person used to do? They didn't understand that death was permanent. Now those are the two that I can think of right away. And they didn't understand that it just happens. And Norman Stiles wrote the most beautiful script about it. And Big Bird says, well, when Mr. Hooper's done dying, When's he gonna come back? And we have to tell him, no, it's permanent. And who's gonna make my bird seed Sundays? I'll make them. You know, we'll, we'll do everything that he used to do for you. We go through all of the things, and at the end he says, I am still sad, I'm still unhappy. And then we say, well, we're all sad. It's just, we're gonna be sad. And then we'll, we have our memories. Oh, I'm gonna start crying thinking about it. And Carol Spinney gave the best performance of his life as Big Bird because we were all overwhelmed with the loss of our dear, dear friend. We uh, are a very close cast. We'd make a great marriage. <laughs> and, um, and at the end of the show, a baby is born. And Big Bird says, wow, what about, wow, that's really something. First you're here, and then you're not. Then you're not, and then you are. So. It was great. It was really a high point.